Do you have a bad Google Ads campaign that is just wasting money with no conversions? Or even worse, do you have a Google Ads account that has multiple bad Google Ads campaigns that are all wasting your money once again with no conversions? If that's you, in this video, I wanna take you through the steps that I use to fix and repair a bad Google Ads account. And I wanna make it very clear that right from the start, the first step isn't to go through and pause all of your current campaigns and then start new Google Ads campaigns. Now, while it is true that you may need to pause some of your campaigns and start some new campaigns, before you go and do that, it's really, really important that you go through this review process so that you can really find out what are the parts of your current Google Ads campaigns that you can keep and what are the parts that you need to get rid of and where are the areas we need to go through and add in any new campaigns or new strategies. So as I go through these steps, I want you to really remember those two points that what we're trying to do here when we're fixing up a bad performing Google Ads account is that we're gonna go through and you're wanting to review and find out the areas in that account. So it could be some particular campaigns or particular asset groups or particular ad groups that are performing really well. And if you do find those areas that are performing really well, you don't wanna turn them off. You wanna keep them running. And then from there, you do wanna go through and turn off those areas that are just wasting money. And then from there, you wanna look at those different opportunities that you have to add in some new campaigns or new ad groups or new asset groups. And in this video, I wanna take you through two common problems I see and how I go through and fix them. And the first common problem that I see time and time again is that when you step into a badly performing Google Ads account is that you'll quite often see multiple different campaigns which are all targeting the same keywords or the same products. A golden rule in Google Ads is that you only want one campaign to be targeting the same keywords or same products in that same area. So it is okay for you to have campaigns targeting the same products, but if one of those campaigns is targeting the products in UK and you've got another campaign which is targeting those same products but in the USA, there's no problems with that at all. What I'm talking about is that if you've got multiple campaigns that are targeting the same products, in the same region, say for example, all of America. And what generally happens here is that this is as a result of either a Google Ads manager or a business owner not really knowing what they're doing. And they set up a new type of campaign, so they might have one search campaign and then they hear about a new strategy and they'll go through and set up a secondary search campaign or performance max campaign in the same area, targeting the same keywords or targeting the same products, and that new campaign will give them a little spike of results. And then after about three or four weeks, those results fall away, then they learn about a new strategy. So they set up a third campaign, once again, targeting the same keywords or the same products in the same area, and it happens again, they get a little spike of results. And then after three or four weeks, sometimes even six weeks, the results drop away. What is happening here is that when you do start a new Google Ads campaign, you do get a little bit of a free pass. And what I mean by that is that over the first one or two weeks, Google will throw your ads out and throw your products out to do some testing to see whether you get those results. And because you get a high number of impressions and clicks, you will get some sales. But what then happens is after that initial testing phase or learning phase is completed, it reverts back to your underlying metrics. And if your underlying metrics are not performing as well as your competitors, Google will start to prioritize your competitors' ads. So just by going about and setting up multiple campaigns, you're not resolving the core issue, which is that your campaigns are not set and optimized correctly. So what you wanna do in this situation is that if you open up and you've got multiple campaigns running, is you wanna go back and you wanna have a look at a bit of the data and try and find out what campaigns have the best conversion metrics, keep those campaigns running or those ad groups, and then you look to build out some different campaigns or different ad groups or keyword themes that you need to target. Let me show you what I mean right now. So well, let me show you right here in this example. Now, this is an example that was to the extreme and probably the craziest one I've ever seen that over a period of from February to April this year before we took on this account and really helped and coached the owner of this account how to fix up their long-term success of their account, they had 56, yeah, that's right, five, six different campaigns running. And this owner actually said to me that the Google Ads manager was saying that they were actively setting up a new campaign every two weeks because they saw a little bump in results. And in some cases, they had up to 10 campaigns which were targeting the exact same keywords in the exact same areas. So 
What we did is when we went through and reviewed this account is that we focused purely on their conversion metrics. Now, there were some issues with this because their conversion tracking was all out of whack as well and they were tracking page visits as a conversion. So we did have to put some different rules in there to really focus on their core conversions. And once we did that, the first action we did is that we paused all of the campaigns that were targeting the same keywords in the same area except for the best performing campaign. So let me show you what that looks like now. Over those 56 campaigns, we broke that down to, to eight different campaigns. Now, the reason why this business does have a lot of different campaigns, because they've got a lot of different services, but what we did from here is that we purely broke it down to some core performance max campaigns that were targeting some different services. And then we also added in some branded campaigns the reason why they needed some branded campaigns because they're in a really highly competitive market where they've got competitors who are targeting on their brand name. And then we also focused on some niche search campaigns. And the reason for why we didn't put these in a Performance Max campaign is because we needed to really have really good control over the keyword searches and also the ad copy. So what we did there is we paused 54 of the unrelated campaigns, kept four of the current campaigns going, but we did do some tidy up of their ad groups and their ad copy and their keyword targeting. And then we added in four other campaigns. Now I do wanna stress that there's no hard and fast rule of the amount of campaigns you need to pause and the amount of new campaigns that you need to set up. It really comes down to looking at what are the elements of that account that are working well, and then improving those elements. Now, sometimes I don't need to set up any new campaigns because it's just a matter of they've got too many campaigns targeting. So we just need to pause those unneeded campaigns and then add some extra elements to those already running campaigns versus in other cases, we do need to set up some new campaigns. But what it comes down to is that you're just wanting to preserve what's working well and really make sure that your Google Ads campaigns are targeting all of the keywords and all of the areas that you need to target. So now let me take you through to the second core issue that I see with a bad performing Google Ads account. And that is that the campaigns are just not set up correctly. And in this case, it's actually a lot easier to fix because from there you don't need to go through and review a lot of data and pause campaigns and start new campaigns. It's purely just a matter of fixing the current campaigns. And a lot of the big problems you see in search campaigns are that they are using an outdated strategy. So they may have single keyword ad groups. So you might see, you know, 15 to 20 different ad groups in the one campaign. And if that's the case, generally what you wanna be doing nowadays is that you wanna be having less ad groups with more keywords. And the reason for that is because something that I've shared a lot on this channel is because Google's keyword targeting is much more broader, your ad groups need to have a broader targeting. And that's why you don't need as many ad groups as what you previously had. The second issue that you see a lot with search campaigns is that you see multiple ad groups triggering ads for the same keyword. Words. And then thirdly, you also see that people aren't split testing their ads correctly. So they've only got one ad running in every single ad group. And then finally, you'll see that they've got their bidding strategy set correctly. So there's a mismatch between their target CPA and their actual performance. And the core problems you see with your performance max campaigns is that people haven't added enough keywords to their audience signals, or they haven't added enough audiences to their audience signals. Or from there, they have you know multiple asset groups targeting the same keywords or the same products, or there also won't be any segmentation in their products. So they just have thousands and thousands of products all running in the same asset group. Or finally, you'll see once again that they've got their bidding strategy set out incorrectly. So that I can explain those in a little bit further detail so you know what you're looking for. Let's now jump into another screen share. So let's firstly start with search campaigns. And this is an example of what I was letting you know before that this is inside one campaign. And you can see in this inside this campaign, they had 17 different different single keyword ad groups. And they had ad groups around doctors, medical center, GP. And the problem is now is that the way that Google Ads targets these keyword phrases is that they would see doctors, medical center, and GP all as the same search and query because it has the same user intent. So 
For that reason, we didn't need all of these multiple different ad groups. And in this current day with these 17 ad groups, you could probably get away with having only two or three ad groups as opposed to 17 different ad groups. And then the other problem that you generally do see is that when you go inside of these ad groups, well, you'll see that they only have one individual ad running. What you wanna do through there, even with response to search ads, you always wanna be running two separate ads so that you can be running different campaign split tests. And then finally, the last thing you wanna go through and check is you wanna go through and check their bidding strategy. And the way that you can go through and do that is you can go through in here so you can just see this little settings button. Now, at the moment, this campaign, we haven't turned on a target CPA, but what you can do from there is you, you wanna just go through and check the target CPA with the current performance. So if they had a target CPA set at say, for example, $30, but the current actual cost per conversion was at $50, it's not gonna be working because your target CPA is too low for your real results. What I will do is at the end of this video, I am gonna let you know how you can see some further training on that. So I just wanted to touch on that point because what I wanna do now is go through and show you the issues that you need to be looking at in a Performance Max campaign. And the first problem you see that within your Performance Max campaigns is that they only have one asset group. So what you need to be doing is you need to be having your asset groups based around your different product categories. So in this one, they did have some segmentation around their different baby products dress products, pants, menswear, but you wanna have that at the asset group level. And the reason for that is so that you can then add in audience signals. Now, what the audience signals are is that these are the different keywords that you can add in. So when you go through and add in an audience signal, you can add in keywords and different audiences that are gonna perform best for that individual group of products. And then the other thing that you can do is that you can have specific assets. So you can have specific ad copy, images and also landing pages that relate back to those products. So what you wanna make sure with your Performance Max campaign is that they have asset groups based around product categories that are aligned to the individual audience signals, which are those keywords and those audiences that you can add to that asset group. Now in that last screen share, I did let you know that I was gonna give you access to some extended training about how to review your bidding strategies. Now, because this is quite a complex topic, what I wanna do is I wanna give you free access to an extended session that I gave on bidding strategies and all about how to review and also implement the correct bidding strategies for your search and your performance max campaigns. And it's something that I haven't shared on YouTube to this level. So if you wanted to see that extended training, which is part of my paid Google Ads community, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below and you'll get free access to that individual training session about bidding strategies. So once again, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you. And if you'd like to learn more about Google Ads and all of the different types of campaigns that you can be using to grow your own business or your client's business, I want you to go through and watch my Get Google Ready playlist right here. Thank you again. See you next time.